The question we want to answer in this project is the following. Is there a conflict of interest for a website that both sells movie tickets and displays review ratings? To understand the context of this question, let's go ahead and travel all the way back in time to the year 2015. So it's the year 2015 and you're looking for something to do on a Saturday night. And you decide to go see a movie. Now, luckily for you, instead of having to drive all the way to the movie theater and buy your ticket for a show that's happening later that night, there's a website we call BlackTab. Note that we have changed the name for the purpose of this presentation. BlackTab sells movie tickets online. However, you don't actually know what movie you want to watch yet, but luckily for you, BlackTab also displays movie ratings, so they both sell movie tickets, and they're displaying movie ratings on the same website. So you're browsing the BlackTab website saying, what movie should I buy tickets for on their site? And keep in mind, BlackTab is going to have a surcharge on top of the ticket price to make some money off this transaction, which is fair enough since they're providing a service of selling tickets online. So you take a look at the BlackTab website and you see that Taken 3 has a four and a half star rating on BlackTab. And this is based upon real data from what their site looked like in 2015. So to say the least, you go out, you buy the ticket on BlackTab and you watch Taken 3 and you may have been disappointed by the film. So you begin to ask yourself, is there a conflict of interest for a website that is both selling movie tickets and displaying review ratings? Can I answer this with a data analysis? More specifically, really what we're asking is, does a website like BlackTab artificially display higher review ratings in order to sell more movie tickets? So in the machine learning pathway we have here is a data analysis problem. We need to collect, clean, and organize data and perform exploratory data analysis in order to create some sort of report or visualization to answer this quick question. After we collect data, we notice something interesting. BlackTab, interestingly enough, has two ratings. It has a stars attribute and then a rating attribute. The rating that in stars goes from 0 to 5 is actually displayed on their website's HTML. And this is what someone would see if they just visited the BlackTab website. But then there's an actual rating, which is a true rating that BlackTab holds for that movie. So what that means is they may be showing someone a 4.5 star visual rating, but in the background, maybe it's just a 4.3 that they have to round up. So first, what we're going to do is we're actually going to compare the true numerical ratings that BlackTab holds on its back end against what it actually displays the users, and then we'll see if there's any discrepancies. Then we are going to compare BlackTab's ratings to other rating websites such as Rotten Tomatoes or Metacritic and see if there's a skew towards rating movies with higher ratings. Okay, let's go ahead and start with some data visualization. And let's first explore the relationship between popularity of a film and its rating at BlackTab. First, what we're going to do is we'll create a scatter plot showing the relationship between ratings and votes. Okay, next is to calculate the correlation between columns. And probably what's most telling here is that stars and rating are not perfectly correlated. That means there is some sort of discrepancy between the stars being displayed versus the rating being shown. Now, in general, the correlation is extremely high, which makes sense. If you have a large rating or high rating, you'll have a high stars. If you have a low rating, you'll have low stars. But it's not perfectly correlated, meaning there is some difference between the stars being shown to a user versus the true numerical rating. And so what we want to do is visualize that difference between the true numerical rating versus the stars actually being displayed. Now, there are many, many ways you can show and compare these distribution. The way I prefer to do it was there's just two KDE plots shown on the same chart. And what we can see immediately is that there are more stars rating between four and five than true rating between four and five. Let's move it along and then actually quantify this discrepancy we create a new data column with the difference between stars and true ratings, and we create a count plot to visualize these differences. This plot displays the number of times a certain difference occurred. So the difference is here. I want to see how many times is the difference 0.1, or how many times is the difference is 0.2, and so on. So what does this plot actually mean? How do I interpret this? Well, this means that we have about a little over 100 reviews where the true numerical rating is the exact same thing as the stars being shown. But take a look at this. These are all differences in stars. In fact, we have a color bar, even though it's tiny, that one, which means there's actually one movie where the stars being displayed is one higher than the true rating, which is kind of crazy. So we investigate what movie had one star differential. We find it. It is Turbo Kid. 
So you run that. And so what's kind of crazy here is that for the film Turbo Kid, even though the user rating between two users is 4.0, if you went to the Black Tab website in 2015, it would have said that it was rated 5 in the HTML. So you would have seen that five-star bar all the way filled up, even though two users, their average rating was four. So it's kind of a crazy difference of one star, considering our scale is only from zero to five stars. And what's also kind of different or unusual here is that there are more movies that we are actually displaying a different set of stars than we have total matches. Because notice the sum of all these colored bars that are not at zero are higher than the total count of zero. That means, on average, we are definitely showing a higher rating in the stars than the true rating behind the scenes. In the next part, we'll compare BlackTab to other sites. This is where we're really going to answer that question. Is BlackTab artificially boosting the ratings because they also sell tickets? And if movies overall get higher ratings, they're more likely to sell more tickets. And we're going to answer this by comparing the distributions of display scores on BlackTab with distribution of review ratings across all sites. Now we have the issue of these ratings not all being between 0 and 5, so we need to normalize all the ratings so that they all lie on the same 0 to 5 star range and therefore are comparable. So we are now going to display the KD plot, and here we can see the distributions themselves. We can see clearly that stars and rating are much higher on average than all the other websites. Okay, so clearly we have kind of distinct evidence that BlackTab is rating movies in a lot higher now, whether or not they're doing it on purpose, that's a little hard to explain with the data. We technically don't know. Maybe just people that are commenting on Black Tab love the movies and they think the movies are good, so that's why it's being highly rated. But we've already proven that the display rating on average is higher than the true rating, and now we've proven that just Black Tab really loves movies compared to everyone else. Kind of different way of showing the same information is to plot the histogram comparing all these normalized scores. You can see here huge spikes from stars versus everything else. Again, really implying that we have a lot more higher star ratings from BlackTab, because keep in mind, we only retain the same movies across sites. So theoretically speaking, they should all be showing kind of the same distribution if everyone is reading movies the same. So let's talk about the worst movies rated across all platforms. One really fun way to see this is with a cluster map. We create a cluster map of all the visualized movie scores. And so what is this actually displaying to us? Well, what this is doing is it's clustering movies together based on their ratings across all sites. So that means that very likely, if a movie is really bad, that more sites are going to rate it poorly. So those are then going to be clustered together. So essentially what we have here is the color bar or really bad movies that on average are getting bad ratings have a darker color. And really good movies have a very light color. And right now, we can see that Rotten Tomatoes critics tend to be the harshest. So whichever column was darkest here, that's kind of your harshest critics. But you should notice that in general, you kind of see these patches of purple along these rows. And that makes sense because these are essentially bad movies that everyone's reading poorly. But what should really stand out to you is across this kind of bottom half, which is like the bottom half of the worst movies, the stars in writing for Black Tab are still not even close to rating movies as poorly as things like Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic. So here is yet another visual example of just how much BlackTab is pushing up the ratings for these movies. Let's now find out the 10 worst movies according to Rotten Tomatoes critics. And let's visualize the distribution of that. So clearly what's happening here, we can see that Rotten Tomatoes critics that are normalized really kind of are harsh on these films. Not a single one of these films are really getting more than one star, maybe even two stars with Rotten Tomatoes critics. As you're a really bad movie, the critics are going to get you here on Rotten Tomatoes. But what's kind of crazy is these are the 10 worst movies in the data set, and distribution for black tab scores is centered around three and a half or four stars even. And these are the 10 worst movies. So black tab, even for the worst movies, it's still showing them as kind of okay or average, which is kind of insane. So obviously it all ends here. Taken three. This is probably the worst defender out of these movies. Um, and so if you actually explore this, we already know. We can see here that Taken 3 has four and a half stars. And again, this is displayed stars on Black Tab. It's true reading on Black Tab's 4.1. And this brings us back to the very start of everything we talked about. So you're back in 2015. You take a look at Taken 3. It says, hey, this is a four and a half star movie. But basically everyone else is reading it very poorly. We did a little bit of the math here for you. But you can see here for Taken 3, on average, it has a 1.86 normalized score here across all the other sites. And if you were back in 2015, Black Tab would have shown it as 4.5. Okay, 
And the good news is that we are finished with our analysis. I trust you found the journey through this uncomplicated data analysis project enjoyable, showcasing the remarkable findings even a seemingly simple analysis can have.